all right cancer so we're going to be seeing what's happening for you in january of 2020 keep in mind this is a general reading so not all messages is going to be resonating with you i'm going to be using the spirit animal oracle deck and i'm also going to be using the gilded tarot deck to be getting your messages so we're pulling first from the oracle deck to see what's your overall energy and your overall energy you're coming out at 68 wombat spirit be at home all right and then we also have use your mind wisely pig spirit number 47 all right interesting hmm interesting 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 see and then i love this because it 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 um has wings on there you know that saying where it's like pigs can't fly but yeah like, if you believe they can fly they can fly we also have being at home i feel like you guys are you you guys are creating a sacred space for yourself i feel like you guys are creating a sacred space for yourself i feel like you feel like this world is not as sacred as it can be so you might as well get used to the comfort of yourself because that's all you're gonna have at the end okay yeah well use your mind wisely i feel like you guys are realizing that every thought that you have you manifest it into fruition interesting let's see what's happening all right what flew out we got the six of cups six of cups starting out cancer yeah some of you guys are reconnecting with your inner child six of cups and three of cups yeah some of you guys could be <laughs> hanging out with a childhood friend or reconciling with someone from the past we have the two wands that flew out could be dealing with an aries cancer what's happening for cancer we had a justice card wow could be dealing with a libra we have the emperor we have double aries we have triple aries we have triple aries you guys are involved with the aries i feel like things in your life is going to be made right i feel like there's going to be a lot of decisions coming up for you in january and it's going to be up to you to make those decisions with justice card and the emperor i do see things i see someone coming towards you and i feel like there could be a new start to something or someone wanting a new start from the past justice card someone wanting to make something right with you interesting and I feel like you could have walked away from this person because they were being uh, not clear about their content intentions. Sometimes they were here, sometimes they weren't. Also with the Justice card, I do see things being balanced out, especially with stuff in the legal system, Cancer. I do see that coming, coming towards you or coming good. I said coming good. Being good or being worked out for you. I also see, yeah, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. This is mainly about love, Cancer. Aries energy. We got a lot of Aries energy. Bomb decks, seven of cups in reverse. I love the seven of cups in reverse. You're either manifesting an emperor or you're already dealing with an emperor. I see it two ways. Or yeah, I feel like actually you could be manifesting someone that's more on your lead. I feel like someone could have been wishy-washy with you. Not a wands, two wands. It could have been wishy-washy with you. All right, with the five of wands, I feel like you, I mean, five of pentacles, I feel like you had to leave this person in the past because they weren't making their intentions clear with you. I feel like they could have been acting very childish or playing games with you or just wasn't clear inside your life one second or and outside the next. And I feel like you just got tired of it, Cancer. So with the justice card, I feel like you saved yourself time and you just walked away from the situation. I feel like you mostly detached and I feel like they felt that. So with the emperor and the the magician i see this person trying to take control of the situation i see them trying to take control of, control of the situation because now they know that you're the option that they want but be careful cancer seven of swords i feel like there was something that you don't know of why they weren't cooperating with you they were keeping something from you of why they weren't cooperating now they want to manifest something i feel like they kind of went towards something in the past that didn't work out now they want to come back around towards you but with karma and the justice system that's i mean with the karmic i feel like or karma this place it could be a karmic but with karma i feel like your angels made you walk away from this person first and then make them get the karma so they won't come back around towards you while it was happening strength card and the justice card major con the three of pentacles this person's coming back to work on things with you ace of pentacles in reverse but do not put all your hope and trust inside this person you could meet a new person as well why is it what is this person's intentions towards cancer what is this person's intention towards cancer five of swords in reverse and the fool in reverse don't put all your eggs in one basket this is definitely an aries or a aquarius i have heavy aries and aquarius they want to get over all the the pain that was in the relationship with the fool in reverse and the five of swords in reverse this person's coming back for their reasons but there's a need for you to be careful because they're not gonna 
they may not put all their eggs in one basket. I feel like something happened to them in the past that they, they could have been treated bad that made them not put all their eggs in one basket. With the Three of Pentacles, I do see your money and finances working out pretty well. I see it being very stable. I don't see it improving too much, but I don't see it decreasing either. With the Judgment Reverse and the Strength card, I feel like you made a good call holding back from this person. Let what let's get some advice. Well, that the advice is out there, but um, I want to pull some advice for you and Tara because I know cancers they have a hard time being in their their logic, they they know how to be in their emotions, so they make um decisions out of emotions, not out of logic. Could be dealing with a um, um, Leo, I would say Sagittarius, too. Um, heavy fire sign, could be dealing with a fire sign. What advice do you have for cancer? Eight of Swords, reverse page of wands. Get out there and go after something new. Do not be in your head. Get out your head and go be in something new. Go um rest and rejuvenate and use your mind wisely. Exactly your overall energy and you have lay a, a solid foundation. Remember, oh, we were talking about laying a foundation with your, within yourself because this world you only have yourself. That's why your overall energy was be at home. Warm, warm bad spirit. I'm trying to pick it up, but my nails are too long. That's why your overall energy was warm bad spirit, right? um we also have lay a solid foundation under that we have sixes sixes talked about stepping out the um stepping out the situation to see the bigger picture okay and i feel like that's what you're going to be asked to do this at this time we also have use your mind wisely so be careful what you think about because you're going to be manifesting it and i feel like you could be manifesting this person as well all right this person is going to want to make it work for you but for the reasons you have to use your intuition if this person was always clear Give them a second chance, but if not, just leave them alone. Let's see. Why am I using this? Let's pull some oracle for advice, or what do you? What else do you need to know? All right, let's see. For cancers, for cancers, for cancers, for cancers, for cancers, for cancers, for cancers. We have crow spirit, co-create with spirit, okay? We have 39 moth spirit surrender now. That's what Leo had. And you have koi spirit. There's always enough. There's always more fish inside the sea. And then we have reclaim your power. Be here now. Pull back. Pull back from this person. Well, be here now. I feel like there's a need for you to... We, you could be seeing 333 at this time. Um, would be here now. There's a need for you to focus on the present. And if that person doesn't contact you, you today or is not making you happy, do not worry about them. We have surrender and co create with spirit. Your spirit guys have this under control. They just want you to know if they trust, if you trust them. There's always enough fish in the sea, Cancer. I feel like you could be manifesting somebody else. See, we have the magician and the emperor. You could either be manifesting another person or you could just be manifesting an Aries or a Mercurial energy, which is um, Gemini, Virgo. Or water sign, Cancer versus Scorpio. Um, but yeah, there's a need for it to surrender so they can push in alignment with what you want. And with always just enough fish in the sea, do not um, hold on to this person. Do not let your attachment issues keep you with this person because this person could have not been giving enough for you. And there's a lot of things that this person is not saying, okay? So with co-create spirit and reclaim your power, there's a need for you to pull your energy back and pay attention to what's happening now. See, sweet results await, so... <laughs> Stay in alignment and focus on yourself and the universe and your spirit guides. They have the rest cancer, all right? So that is what's going to be happening for you inside of January of 2022. Keep in mind, it is a general reading. Everything's going to be down in the description box. And leave your comments because I want to know how you feel about it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy January of 2022.